Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Art of Creation Homestead. It is garden cleanup time of year. All right, things are dying off. It's time to just get it all cleaned up. And a lot of times that's a lot of work, but sometimes it's also harvest. So today we're cleaning out the garden a little bit, but we're not showing you that. We're showing you harvesting our sweet potatoes for 2022. We have, some, we have sweet potatoes planted in Amazon grow bags. It's a bit of a windy fall day. Um, breezes from the hurricane system i'm sure we're not getting rain just a little breeze uh but we're gonna harvest these sweet taters we planted our sweet potatoes and, and grow backs for amazon and i think they did really good but you never know until you find until you uh dump them bags out right so let's get started so again we planted three varieties in grow bags that we bought it on amazon and uh we they divined out a lot so let's just see how they did well, I don't know which varieties are which right now, honestly. I don't know which bags hold which variety, and we'll know when we dump them out. Because we have a, a white yam, a uh, mirasake, which is purplish red, and then a, a Covington, which is orange. Okay, yes. so we should obviously know when we dump them out. Let's get with it. Oh, it's tight. <laughs> that dirt is in there tight. These are, uh, these are 15 gallon grow bags or 25? 25. 25. These, these are 25s, yeah, these are the 25. We're playing some in 25s and some in 15s. These are 25. All right, let's see what's in here. Besides just a big old ball of oh, dirt. Oh gosh, I see them. You see some in there? Uh-huh. Oh, sweet. Look at that. Look at that big old fat finger sticking out. <laughs> These are the white yams. Obviously. <laughs> These are white yams. And honestly, they don't get real fat anyway. No, they're, they're um, skinny variety. They're longer, they're a longer sweet tater. But there's, hey, there's some in here, ain't there? Look at that. Wow. Awesome. Hey. Got another happy hillbilly right here, but I love me a sweet tater. Man, and these white yams are probably my favorite, to be honest with you. They've got a really nice flavor. A lot of times, you, know, you guys want to put, everybody wants to put like, you know, sugar, brown sugar, cinnamon on them. These right here just need some good butter, to be yes, honest with definitely. you. Definitely. They, they just need some real butter and a plate. But man, there's a lot in here. Goodness. This is, <laughs> look at that. This is about as many white yams as we've grown in one season, completely, much less in one bag. That's awesome. All right, that's what we got from the first bag, y'all. That's a beautiful harvest from just the very first bag. We got a lot more bags to go through. Bag number two. See what's in here. Again, I would assume this might be white yams again, but I really don't know. Uh, looks like white yams. Yeah. Turn it over. Well, I'm just looking at the, at the taters inside. Yep, more white yams. And once again, oh. they're falling out everywhere. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful bunch of taters in there. Look at that. Wow. Awesome. Man, this is great. They've done really good this year. Really, really good. All right, there they are, piling up after the second bag. All right, third bag, and we think this is white yams with possibly some mirasakes that, that grew over and rooted, that vined over and rooted inside of here. That's what we think this is. Let's see. That dirt is tight. Hmm. A lot of white yams. A lot. See a lot of white yams. Let's see. Uh, there's a bunch right here. Yep. Wow. Bunch right there. It looks great, don't it? Another one right there. So, that one split. Ain't going to be no good. But now, can we still use that and get plants off of it? Probably. Probably. We so. can use it to sprout to get plants. Yeah, okay. Cool. Oh, great harvest, though. All right, there it is after, what, three bags? Yep. Three bags full. All right, these are coming out of the ground. These are Covingtons, we believe. Let's just, I'm going to pull one out here. Boom, there we go. <laughs> nice. Pull another one out. Boom, nice. <laughs> wow. Good taters. Good taters. Let's see what we got. This is our first year ever growing First year growing, growing these. As you can see, the dirt just stays together. This is We use Pro Mix dirt, by the way. Found it at Walmart, of all things. So. It seems to have done really well. 
Let's just see if it, if, if it can grow some good taters. Huh. Let's see. I mean, obviously, there's some in there, right? Never grown these before. They were what? Developed University of North Carolina? Yes. Is that right? Hey, good figure. We didn't that bomb from there, by the way. But, uh, that's really good. Wow. That's, that's good. That's good. Hey, th them things are going to eat good right there. Good eaters. Good eaters. All right, there they are. Stacking them up again. Stacking up the taters, y'all. This variety is funny because, like, they surface. The big ones are surfacing and. Wow. Nice. See? It's a beautiful tater. The big ones are all servicing like that on these Covingtons. It's pretty cool. All right, bag what? Five? Bag number five. Second bag of Covingtons, I believe. Yeah. All right. Let's break the dirt up and see what's in there. Kind of like doing that. It's like busting open a rotten egg. What you a got? Pinata. Oh, these are nice. These are much better. <laughs> these are much better than that last bag. His back, last bag was good, but show right in here. See, look at that. Wow. Much better. Much better taters over here. I and mean, these are awesome. Good eating right here, folks. All right, five bags in. That's what we're looking at. Here's bag six. I think this, these are mirror sake. So they'll be purple. And they have a tendency to stay towards and the bottom. And they stay towards the bottom typically. I mean, that's in our experience. Let's see what happened here. Uh, there's one. Those are beautiful. They're, good. They're really good taters. Really nice taters. They almost have a citrusy taste. They do have, yeah, they do. They have like a little lemony type feel almost to them. They, and they vine like crazy. They went rogue on us and tried to get in the regular tater bags and get in the, uh, some tomato bags and everything else. These are all right. We've had them do better than this. They, they can get bigger, but these are still good. These are still good taters. Okay, that's six bags in. All right, bag number seven. There's more in there. See, automatically, like we said before, they go to the bottom. And so automatically there's some. That stayed a little. That was weird. So now let's break it open. The Mirasake plants were not as healthy. Wow, that was good. By the way, that's a good plant. That's a good one. But but the Mirasake plants were not as healthy as the other plants we planted. But that's a good one too. That's a good one. So that that, there we go. Oh, wow. I'm sitting there underselling them and all of a sudden, look at that. That one kind of grew funny. Look at that. It looks like two grew together. It does. But I, I bet you it tastes like one good one. Uh-huh. Oh, that's awesome. I like that one. I'm sitting there talking about how bad the plants were when we planted them. That that, that boy pops out. <laughs> he said, hey, quit selling me short, would you? That's a good one, though. All right, there it is. Weird tater and all. We are seven bags deep in this thing. All right, now these last two bags are... 15 gallon bags, the first ones were, uh, they were 25 gallon bags. Okay. I think both of them may be Covington's, so I'm not I think sure. so. That looks that like Covington. That definitely a Covington. That looks like Covington, don't it? Yeah. So, let's see what we got in there. Like roots is what we got. Naturally, that's what taters are. Looks like we got some taters. We got though. taters, though. Taters here, taters there, taters everywhere. Right, they'll eat. Them boys will eat. Pretty pretty. Throw them off to the side. Let's break it open. Like breaking a pinata. Yep. There's, hey, these are good. Yeah. These are good right here, y'all. That, that, we have a white yam in there, too. <laughs> we may have... Well, I, I thought I remembered split, like mixing some up and saying, look, we'll know which what the difference is because they're white and orange. You know? Hey, there's a lot of taters in here. A lot of oranges, so a lot of Covingtons. You know? A lot. Yeah, beauties. A, they're good. Just hey, just because they don't look like the taters you buy in the store, they're not big and round, does not mean they are not delicious and good for eating. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, don't let yourself be disappointed because it's not the big round sweet tater. Those those ten, those thin ones are really 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 good. Very sweet. They are very sweet, and you can just roast them together. And, and you can mash them together 
and you can put them all in your fork and then shove it in your mouth. And I bet you it's gonna taste like a good sweet tater. <laughs> no matter what it looks like to you. And there's your eating instructions from Jason. How to eat sweet taters from a Blue Ridge boy. <laughs> okay, that's bag number eight. We have one more bag to go. See how this last bag contains here. <laughs> it looks like it's got some mirasake in it too. <laughs> We're not sure. We thought it was coming, this, but looks like there may be some mirasake. Hey, the look bag. at that. <laughs> hanging from the bag. That's good. <laughs> That's that is a tendency of the mirasake that we grew last year. They hung from the bag like they they kind of grabbed it, went, went to the bottom and hung on the back hung onto the bag. But I see a Covington over to the side. Is there a Covington in there? Yeah. Let's get these mirror sockets out of here before we forget. There's a Covington. <laughs> yeah, so there's Covington. It's a combination bag. Mirror sockets. Mirror socket. So, let's see. That's yeah. the old combination bag. Another one. It's a Covington. A little one. The old combo platter. Hey, but they're still taters. Again, they all eat. Doesn't matter what color they are. Just don't matter how big they are, they all taste good. Just like us. We don't matter what color you are. Don't we matter. all taste good? Heck, well, ask, ask some folks. <laughs> I think there's a documentary on Netflix about that right now. Oh, that one's a good one. That's a good one. See, look at there. So if that dish you get at the Olive Garden is Tour of Italy, is this Tour of the Blue Ridge? This is t Tater Tour. <laughs> tater Tour 2022. All right, there we are. This is a bushel basket. So we got quite a few taters in there. That's a good one. He may be the best one, the whole thing. All right, so there we have it. All of our ta all of our sweet potatoes out of uh, grub bags we bought on Amazon. Um, nice harvest there. A lot of good eaters. A lot of good food in that in there. Angela Kay and I will have good sweet taters for a long time. And them really little ones, maybe that don't seem like much. Probably hang on to those and and get your get your plants off of them for the next year instead of having to rebuy plants again. So that's that's a good tip for your small, the small ones you don't think it's worth anything. But they are, they do have value. So there we have it. Thank y'all so much for watching. We do appreciate it. My name is Jason, that's Angela Kay. It's Art Creation Homestead. We love y'all. God bless you and goodbye.